We recently had a new release from OpenSSL version 3.0.7 containing a patch, which was initially thought to be the next heartbeat, but turned out to be another way to DDoS for scripts. OpenSSL is a general purpose cryptography library that offers an open source application of the TLS protocol. It is pretty much used on any Linux distro, macOS, and some Node.js applications. This vulnerability takes advantage of the X509 certificate verification process, which could be exploited via a specially crafted mail. It exists in the OSSL punicode decode function that is used to process domain names from different languages. The cost of this vulnerability is a nightmare for every developer out there, which is accidentally using the greater than operator instead of the greater than or equals to operator. This results in a loop returning incorrect value, kickstarting a domino effect that eventually results in a buffer overrun which can lead to potential crash or even remote code execution. This vulnerability allows the attacker to pass a malicious certificate which contains a domain name with Unicode characters. Because the function wasn't written properly, the malicious certificate is then executed by the Punicode decode function resulting in the buffer overrun. There are a few criteria that are required to be met before exploitation. Firstly, we need a malicious certificate that must include a name constraint field with Punicode. Secondly, the victim must run the malicious certificate in OpenSSL, which is verified by an internal function. Post verification, the OSSL Punicode decode function should run. Currently, it is known that the exploit can be used to perform denial of service and may cause remote code execution, but there is currently no proof of concepts for the RCE. While the vulnerability is not internet breaking, it is ideal to take a proactive approach for remediation as threat actors have grown to become increasingly sophisticated. The remediation is to upgrade any version of OpenSSL 3x to 3.0.7 to patch this vulnerability. Further, this vulnerability does not affect any of the older versions of OpenSSL such as 1.1.1 or 1.1.0, which is still widely used. This has been OpenSSL CV 2022-3602 in 100 seconds and I'll see you in the next one.